course. It's pretty deep here. through the forest and it's good <laughs> it gives me some shade because it's gonna be a hot day even warmer than yesterday they say I had a wonderful night in um, Jezerce that little mountain hut uh, in the end four more people came and two other people from Czech Republic I think Slovakia I'm not sure so it was pretty busy, but luckily everybody wanted to sleep early. So, uh, yeah, I had a good night rest. And now I'm heading to Chernopolia and then to Vodachko Yezero. So, yes, hopefully I will be able to swim and lie a little bit in the sun before I continue. And at the moment I'm at a very pretty trail through the forest. It's super nice and quiet, so enjoying myself. So this is not the official uh, Via Dinarica trail. I mean, Via Dinarica goes on Preng, but it comes from Jablanica and then it goes um, to Zelenaglava and then to, um, to Ruiste. But now I came from Ruiste. I basically went to Zelenaglava, the highest peak of Preng, and um, I'm continuing to Borečko Jezero, so I'm, um, you know, using a different trail, which is, as you can see, very pretty. Only it's early in the morning and there's spiderwebs everywhere, but okay, I can manage. ended up I came on this scout camp to ask if um, well, I could put up my tent because the, um, the campsites at the lake are really nah, yeah, not such nice places um, and then instead of getting a camp there getting a camp spot I uh, I got my own little tent well my own big tent I'm too lazy for cooking so I'm eating breakfast for dinner. It's oats and a lot of seeds and cinnamon, but I actually like it. Good morning on day four. I just had a road hike for about an hour and now I am at the bridge that takes me on the, to the other side of the Neretva, the river. <laughs> There's a person there. <laughs> this woman walks the bridge every day. She's so relaxed. But I have to say, I was a little bit more. It's time for breakfast. I'm making oatmeal again. And coffee. And the water is boiling. Oop. Using, um, yeah, how do you say that? Gasoline stove. Basically, everywhere you can find benzene or gasoline, whatever you call it. Um, but it smells bad and it's heavy. On the other hand, then I don't have to throw away all these empty tanks, canisters. Um, but maybe bus will be a wood stove, I'm not sure. Seeing in the spring here. Um, gonna drink a lot before I start hiking. And last time I did this um, this section 
Uh, I had a little bit of uh, water problem, so now for, I think I already drunk one liter and a half. But um, yeah, that's the reason why I'm making breakfast here as well. So, nine hours to look come here. Well, we will see if I can make that. Getting closer to the place where I got lost last time. <laughs> Until now, it's really, really beautiful path. It's very well marked. And I kind of wonder what went wrong. Actually, now I think of it. I think, so three years ago I came from that peak and then um, I couldn't find the path <laughs> and took a shortcut so I ended up somewhere here. And then a long story of uh, mountain rescue um, followed, which was actually kind of funny because I knew exactly where I was, only um, could not find a trail and got stuck in the thorny bushes. Oh, I'm sweating, but um, <laughs> I already passed the part where, uh, yeah, last time the marcation was really, really bad, but ugh, I really don't understand. The path is so super good. Well, I do know that the year after mm, my incident of getting lost, um, there was a volunteer team from Terra di Narica who actually um, remarked and cleaned the trail but honestly I never expected it to be this this good so um, well tackled that section up to the next which is there <laughs> Girls, please, when you pee, you don't have to use toilet paper. a very nice ridge hike so from here more or less to Buchani it says 45 minutes to Rakitnica and then well here's the path but uh, it's really 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 not true I believe <laughs> it's about a one hour and 45 minutes almost at Franz Castiene I believe that is Crow's Rock. Hope to find water there. I think here's water also. It is water. But there's a lock on it. So in this little house there are two um, people living. Really old people. And um, they have sheep and cows and chicken. You can maybe not see it, but down there I could fill my water, so I have no worries for that for the rest of the day. Wow, pretty steep drop here, only a few meters away from the house. And this woman, she gave me a bar of chocolate. Nice, nice, nice. It's pretty deep here. Uh, and as 
usual, I take the wrong path. Yep, yep, yep. so sure about this water source um, so I filled up at uh, Vranska Stiena and uh, I, uh, as you can see it's not so well covered and I don't know I got enough water maybe there's also some water I think so but it's all not very accessible um, I'm not, it for sure needs treatment. We have another system. <laughs> Look, there are holes everywhere. But there is water. So in case you're desperate, you can find a way to get the water out. There's the lake. It's more of a swamp, so don't get too excited. But um, yeah, last time I was kind of close to the water and I filtered that. Well, I survived. Ooh, it's getting late. The sun is down. But um, is there? Well, there is Lukumia and that's where I'm going, so I'm going to try to uh, to reach it, but whew, it's a difficult terrain to find the trail marks, so hopefully the last bit will be easier. Uh, and then, whew, uh, then I need a break. Oh, so far so good, but... I have to hurry a little bit. I'm at the guest house in Lukomie and look, I got some pita in Kislo Mileko. This is where I sleep. <laughs> and that's where the owners sleep. It's a little bit weird, but Maya, I got a bed and a roof above my head. And I'm very proud that I'm in Lukomir. It was a long, long day, but I made it. <laughs>